Welcome to Bulga Socks TV. We've got lots of classic and original TV shows. Subscribe now and enjoy the video. Not the shrinking cat, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. Grandpa! Day. Oh, where's the tape? Has <laughs> anyone seen my hat? Oh, there it is. Dad, how do you spell congratulations? All this was in aid of a very special occasion. Ta da! Oh, Grandpa, you look wonderful! I'd better make myself look wonderful too. <laughs> We've all got to look wonderful. This is going to be a wonderful wedding. <laughs> and whose wonderful wedding was it? Mr. Whoops's wonderful wedding. And who was he marrying? Miss Smiley, scrumptious Miss Smiley. Her peacock salads are a healthy treat, but her chocolate sundaes taste so sweet. When it comes to puddings, I must confess, you just can't beat her summer mess. There's no one I read as highly as Miss Smiley. Smiley, Miss Smiley. I'm so excited. <laughs> Jemima was so excited because she was going to be a bridesmaid. Mum, please can you do my hair first? Good idea, Jemima. Then I'll have plenty of time to do Miss Smiley's when she comes over. I'm just going to drop my things on sticks over at Miss Smiley's cafe. Jason, there's another tray in the kitchen. You can come with me. Uh, did Miss Smiley actually ask you to make things on sticks? No, I'm just helping her out. Which is more than you ever do, Grandpa. Loretta helping Miss Smiley, it'll be a disaster. And Miss Smiley mustn't have a disaster on her wedding day. I better come too. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. You know what happens when Grandpa puts on his magic shrinking cap? He can chuff around in my sunny son's train. He can jump into my toy car and make it go. He can fly in my toy plane. Often, I have no idea where he's got to. And today, he was here. Just cover me with a napkin. OK. I was sure Great Aunt Loretta would be back because she'd been waiting for me to catch her up. And sure enough... Will you stop lingering? Ah, uh, Grandpa's gone for a little lie down, I see. Always disappears when there's work to be done. Come on now, get a move on. Great Aunt Loretta was right. Grandpa was having a little lie down on the tray of things on sticks. The cafe had been specially decorated for the wedding and Miss Smiley was just finishing off her wonderful wedding cake. Where do you want the things on sticks? <laughs> I made them myself. There's spicy sausage and banana, there's pilchard and marshmallow and there's garlic and bubblegum. Try one. While Miss Smiley was looking at the things on sticks, I quickly took the napkin off Grandpa. He stood up and hid behind a plate of party sandwiches. Uh, thanks, uh, but I'm not really hungry at the moment. Oh, well, that's just because you're nervous. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm here to help. Just then, I saw Mr. Whoops. There's Mr. Whoops! What? Oh, no, he can't come in here. Oh, it's bad luck for the groom to see the bride before the wedding. Get rid of him as quick as you can. Come on, now, we'll go, oh, we'll go and hide in the... Great Aunt Loretta never says the word toilets out loud because she thinks it's rude. Miss Smiley, scrumptious Miss Smiley, what? Mr. Whoops knocked the little groom off the cake. How could I be so clumsy? Oh, oh no, oh, oh no. Where could we go? Just then I saw Grandpa. Please. He wanted to talk to me, 
The groom's over there, on the floor. But he needs a new head. Can you make another one, quick? I'll try. Oh, my God. At that moment, Great Aunt Loretta came back in. <laughs> Mr. Whoops, oh. you shouldn't still be here. You've got to go. Oh, I've done a terrible, terrible thing. I've knocked the little groom off our wonderful wedding cake. Great Aunt Loretta looked at the cake. No, you didn't. Grandpa had stepped in just in time. I was sure I... How strange. He must have got back on the cake all by himself. Oh, Mr. Whoops, you're just a big bag of nerves. <laughs> just like Miss Smiley. It's a good job I'm here to help keep everybody calm. Now then, off you go. Oh. Back to the toy shop. Oh, Miss Smiley, you can come out now. So, I put Grandpa in my pocket and the groom back on the cake. Everything's all right. Now, just keep calm. Oh, look at the time. You've still got to have your hair done and your makeup. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. oh, I need my case. Oh, come on. Right, I'm coming. There we go. Right. Oh, you're lingering again. Jason. So we all went back to our house. Right, now, I've got Before to... long, Miss Smiley was ready to have her hair and makeup done. Grandpa had jumped out of my pocket and was up on a shelf. I think it might be easier if we do your hair and makeup in the kitchen. Mum, my bun has fallen down! Oh, don't worry, tomorrow. At that moment, Great Aunt Loretta appeared. No need to panic. I am here to help. Now, why don't you do the bridesmaid? I'll do the bride. I'm an expert at hair and makeup, I am. Come on, Miss Smiley. Into the kitchen. Come along, Jemima. Let's do your hair upstairs. Come on. I'll just ring Mr. Whoops. See how he's getting on. Ring? Where is the ring? Mr. Whoops was very nervous. Here it is. Sing a ding ding. What a beautiful whoop. The ring went flying and landed in the shape sorter. Help! Help! Whoever you are! What's the matter, Mr. Whoops? I've lost the ring! You've lost the ring! I'll be right over. <laughs> don't tell Miss Smiley. I don't want to worry her. OK, I hope you find it. Grandpa had jumped down onto the sofa. This is terrible. I'd better go and help. You stay here and deal with Loretta. But, Grandpa... I won't be long. Before I could stop him, Grandpa ran to my toy plane and jumped in. Then he flew up the stairs and out of my bedroom window. Grandpa flew in while Dad and Mr. Woods were still looking for the ring. Back at home, Great Aunt Loretta had made a terrible mess of Miss Smiley's hair. No, I think it just needs a little extra something. Oh, well, I think you've done enough, Loretta. Wait, I've got it! Things on sticks, they'll just look wonderful in your hair. Good job I kept some for myself. In my hair! The, no! The, no! I had to find a way to stop Great Aunt Loretta. Oh, Suddenly oh, she went flying, oh, oh. and so did her hat. Oh. Wolfie didn't waste a second. Oh, you got me out! Come back here, you wretched dog! Oh. Oh, come back here, you out of a little dog! Miss Smiley grabbed her chance. Thanks, Jason. She Jason. ran upstairs to find Jason. Mum. And I ran upstairs to get changed. At the toy shop, Mr Whoops and Dad were still looking for the ring. <laughs> Grandpa was looking for the ring too. And suddenly he saw it. In the shape sorter. In he went. We can't give up yet, Mr. Whoops. The ring must be somewhere. <laughs> Grandpa had the ring. Now all he had to do was roll it onto the floor to attract Dad's attention. Look. The ring. I'm sure it wasn't there a moment ago. I wonder how it got there. Who cares? We found it. Mm. Sing a ding ding, what a beautiful ring. I've got to go and fetch the bride. I'll see you at the cafe. Grandpa had to get home before Dad did. So he jumped off the counter, got into the plane, and out he flew. 
Meanwhile, Great Aunt Loretta was trying to get her hat back. Oh. Oh, this is all Grandpa's fault. I'm going to wake him now. No, don't do that. Oh, look. My hat. I'll get your hat for you. Thank you, Jason. You're a marvel. I'll deal with you later. Great Aunt Loretta rushed off to the toilet to put her hat back on, just as Grandpa flew down the stairs. Grandpa took off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. And we all went off to the cafe. The wedding was about to begin. First, Mr. Whoops arrived. Oh, look, it's Mr. Whoops, he's here. <laughs> Mr. Whoops proudly held up the ring. <laughs> Zing a ding ding, what a beautiful ring. <laughs> <laughs> then, Miss Smiley arrived. Here she is. She looked very beautiful and very smiley. It was going to be a really wonderful wedding. I smiled at Grandpa and he smiled at me. And I knew that was how it was always going to be. Me, my grandpa, and teamwork. Oh, happy, happy, happy me. Oh. Tomorrow we're to wed. Horatio. No man could surely happier be unless I had her money instead. Oh. When Captain Pugwash decided to marry a wealthy widow, he took a room in an inn on shore, conveniently close to the church, and at a safe distance from the black pig, for the crew were far from pleased. I reckon we ought to kidnap him like, hijack him before he gets itched. Impossible, Pirate Barnabas. We ain't even been asked to the ceremony. Hey, what was it he said? Not smart enough to meet all his posh new friends? Imagine it, a woman on board. Yes, Mrs. Pugwash. No, Mrs. Pugwash. It'll all be over in an hour, Pirate Bee. Let's get some sleep. Can't sleep. Not with them blooming bells. The bells, why, of course. Uh, but you'll have to hurry. Now listen. Half an hour to go, and I'll be a married man. Can't say I much relish the prospect. On the other hand, just think of all that lovely money. That's better. Now you're beginning to look the part. Put your hat on, Willie. Hey, I'm almost ready to get married myself. Uh, uh, oh, crippling crayfish. Shall I never get this cravat tied? Help, here comes my future brother-in-law. Oh, hey, St. Captain, the bride arrives in ten minutes. There now, every inch the gallant bridegroom, eh? How goes it, brother-in-law? My sister is even now arriving. Is she by Neptune? And uh, have you the ring? The ring? Where did I put it? Hurry, she's making for the church. Uh, I have it, I have it. Oh, let us away then. Oh, better late than never. 
were be bridegroom. Do you know, but here comes bride. Bain't no beauty, be she? Nay, but worth the fortune, they say. And you'll be best man and groom. I say, what do you think you're doing? Put me down! <laughs> Horatio! <laughs> Come back! Come back! Bring back that bridegroom! But it was too late. By now, the pirates had got their captain into the dinghy. Very soon they had him aboard and the black pig was on its way to the open sea. Captain Pugwash was furious. Rascals, rapscallions, I'll keel haul the lot of you. I'll string you from the yard arm. I'll... all that money. It's all right, Captain. The lady's luggage came aboard a quarter of an hour ago. And a jewel case. Jewelry? Dolloping, dolphins, diamonds, pearls. I'm rich, rich, and I'm still single. Well done, me hearties. Yeah, but it do seem a bit hard on the bride, like. Lost her money, lost her abbey, lost a lot, poor lady. Poor lady, nothing. If you ask me, she got off cheap. I mean to say, whoever would want to be married to the captain all their life, eh? <laughs> 